good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today we get... Whoa, whoa, what the hell am I saying? Today we have a brand new WWE Elite action figure review, and it is on the brand new Decade of Domination WWE Elite Triple H figure. We also have a Legend Series 8 Eddie Guerrero and a Walmart exclusive Undertaker Elite 79 figure collector's edition right there. And we're not going to re be reviewing these two. If you guys want to check out reviews of Taker or Eddie, you can go back on the channel. We reviewed this earlier today, and then the Undertaker figure we reviewed like a couple weeks weeks ago, so go check those out. But today we're going to specifically dive into the Triple H. Now, I do want to give a huge shout out to Mattel for making this video possible. They sent us this Eddie, this Triple H, and this Undertaker. You can get this Eddie Guerrero at Target, and you can get both of these at Walmart, I do believe. I think this is Walmart exclusive for the Decade of Dominance Wave, and I pre-ordered these forever ago, bro. I, I pre-ordered Series 1 and 2. I pre-ordered this Legend Series 8. I haven't seen a single figure. I haven't even seen my AEW pre-orders. I'm about to just cancel all of them and buy Kobe's, because I'm sick of it. But let's dive into this packaging, guys. We actually have to pay close attention to this because this packaging is sick as hell. As you guys can see, you have your front viewing window of Triple H. You have this very nice Decade of Domination logo down here that I really like. I like that going on. You got the Triple H. Down here, you will see images of Triple H here. You got an image of Triple H here and here. So you have like different moments in his career throughout there. This image is pretty small, but it like kind of swoops up and gets larger here. But if we turn it to the side, you have an image of H there. WWE Elite logo there. On the other side, you have another image of Triple H really like this shot. You got some paint splatter and stuff. At the top right here, this is where the money is. This is so sick. I love this. So see, you guys can see there is images of Triple H throughout his career, which is very, very cool. I wish that it had more moments from like earlier. Like, um, this image is used a couple times, I think. I, I don't, I think there's a couple reused images, but nonetheless, it would be really cool to see him, you know, from like 2001 up until like 2020 or something, but this is still really sick. I love this. I think that's fantastic. As you guys know, you also have the red and black stuff going on. On the back you got another image of H, and then you have all of his bio read. If you could, if you want to read it, you can pause it now. Career highlights, rest of the figures in the wave. Kane, H, Kofi, Beth Phoenix, and Big Show. I want to say, is this... Well, I guess they're all Series 1. There's just 10 in the wave. I don't know. Just, it's weird. Anyways, that pretty much does it for our packaging, guys. Again, we're just going to be diving into Triple H today, so I don't have any other Decade of Domination figures, but I definitely wanted to review this Triple H. This is one of the ones that I was most excited for. I think Kane and Triple H were the ones out of this set, out of these five that I was looking forward to, so I'm super happy to have this Triple H, and when I find more, we're going to do some fix-ups with them. I cannot wait to get into that, but let's shut up and dive into our Triple H Decade of Domination figure. Alright guys, so taking a closer look at the game cracked out of his packaging. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I can't wait to dive into it. You know, we only have one figure from the set right here, so we're not going to do a two-in-one where we cover the accessories and then the figure and then we dive into the other accessories and then the figure and the comparisons. We're just going to dive straight into Triple H's accessories and then Triple H himself, then his comparisons because we only have one figure. So let's go ahead and dive into Triple H's accessories and then we will conduct the normal action figure review. So with this figure, guys, you pretty much get what Triple H was synonymous for in this era. I mean, the early 2000s, man, growing up as a kid in the Ruthless Aggression era, Triple H was known for water bottle, sledgehammer, world heavyweight championship. I mean, that was about it. It was kicking everyone's ass, hitting them in the face with a sledgehammer, drinking his water bottle, and being a badass. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You get the big gold world heavyweight championship. We've seen this many times in the past. It looks great. It would not be a Triple H Ruthless Aggression figure without the world heavyweight championship. So, this is great to see. This is from his Elimination Chamber matchup where he did hit Goldberg in the skull with the sledgehammer, so it only makes sense to give him the sledgehammer accessory. I've been waiting on this attire for Triple H for very long, so it's very nice to see. I cannot wait to dive into that attire, but for his accessory, you do get the sledgehammer because again, he did nail Goldberg in the face with it, and it has to be known. I think this is a good size for it. We've seen this many, many times in the past. Out of the packaging, he comes with one mic holding hand, and then he has a fist in the left hand, so obviously the opposite of that would be an extra mic holding hand and an extra fist. So you guys can see he has the fisted hands right here, one taped, one untaped, and then out of the packaging, he does have one uh, mic holding hand taped, and then one non-taped for the other side. And then for his last accessory, that would be his water bottle, and we have seen this many times. You guys know the, the I, I think it's my favorite entrance of all time. If it's not my favorite, it's definitely up there. It's one of my top five for sure, and I, I love it. I love his entrance. It would not be right without his water bottle. So, that is it for Triple H's accessories, guys. You know, standard Triple H's accessories. It's nothing too over the top. Things we've seen in the past all bundled together 
together to create like an ultimate Triple H accessory pack because this is, I mean, this is what he had. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for the accessories of H. So let's dive into the game himself. So diving into Triple H himself, guys, you can see that we do have, I'm pretty sure this is, I don't know if this is a new head sculpt, but it is a true effects version of the uh, the Fan Central Triple H or whatever that was, or the WrestleMania Triple H. I can't remember the series, but the purple Triple H and then the red Triple H that we have seen in the past. I think one of them was the WrestleMania 35 wave. One of them was the Fan Central wave, but you guys can see here, it definitely looks like Triple H. I like the hair length. I, I think it looks just like him. I like this head sculpt. I think it looks great. One thing you guys will notice is the same exact Triple H torso, which isn't a big deal to me. We've seen this in the past, and I think it works for Triple H. Around this area, you might could use like a Stone Cold torso if you wanted to be more accurate, but you guys know that sometimes they slip up. They don't always have it the most accurate torso ever. We have the Jack Triple H arms, elbow pads, and everything. I think the main thing with this figure is going to be your head sculpt and then your tights right here. So one of my favorite Triple H attires is the black with the red, but in this specific case, when he wore this attire, it's like he wore sliding shorts or compression shorts up under his original wrestling tights. And I think wrestlers usually do that anyways, but they don't usually have the extended version. You know, they don't usually have the, uh, you know, the slide, the, I call them sliding shorts or, or compression shorts is what they are. And it's just to keep everything nice and fit and tight and everything like that for athletes and when athletes are performing. Typically, I'm pretty sure they usually wear ones that are the size of their trunks, but on this specific case, I'm not exactly sure why he wore these, but he wore extended version and it made for a, a pretty cool moment because he never really did it again. So this is pretty cool. He retained the World Heavyweight Championship in this attire. You got the game there and on the back you have the game again with the red iron cross and the black and the silver details or the white details. I like it. I like it a lot. I have a great fix up idea for this figure and I can't wait to get multiple of it. I'm not going to use this one probably. I'll probably wait till I get an extra because I want to keep this one the way it is for the moment because my Triple H shelf is pretty badassery over there and I want to keep it that way. I don't want to change up anything just now but you have the large knee pads and then the solid black boots and then your white wrist tape. So the basic thing about this figure is the trunks. You know it's, it's the trunks and you, there's so many cool fix ups you could do with this so we'll get into that later on. But for now I'm really digging this decade of domination Triple H. Guys let's get into some Triple H Elite figure comparisons. So for your Triple H Elite figure comparisons, guys, you have the brand new Decade of Domination in the middle. You have my custom from Jesus Customs for my Secret Santa 2003-ish blue attire Triple H. And then you have then you have my WrestleMania 20 custom Mac decals figure over here that I really love of Triple H. And then you have our other colorful attires from around that era. You have the WrestleMania 19H. And then you have, you also have the Red Trunks Triple H that does not say the game right there in that little gap. So all of these have the game in the freaking text right there, except this one. I need to get a decal made or something. And you'll also notice that the old Triple H figures, they have a really bad deal. Uh, it just kind of depends, but a lot of them have a freaking, like, fidget spinner waist. As you guys can see, look, I'm barely even grabbing. Look at that. Look how easy that turns. Like, the figure is just standing there, and I can barely even touch it, and the thing goes freaking haywire. So, I definitely need to get that fixed. But this one does not have that issue. It actually has a tight waist, so you love to see that. Like, it doesn't just, you know, if I do if I do this to this over here, yeah, he, he's, going, he's going spinning. But out of all these Triple H figures, guys, I would love to know which one is your favorite. I love the WrestleMania 19. I love the red gear and the blue gear too, but the WrestleMania 20 white boots, man, that is super fresh fire nasty. I'm surprised we haven't gotten this from Mattel just yet, but that pretty much does it for actually, you know what? No, I want to get in here and get this head sculpt so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. So here is the Decade of Domination and here is the older version. So you guys can see it's slightly different. You guys can see it's more true effects, more details in there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's the, pretty much the exact same head sculpt except this one has true effects, of, you know, true effects technology applied to it. So that that is pretty much it for your Triple H Elite figure comparisons, guys. So let me know down below which one is your favorite. And actually, one more thing that I wanted to do, guys, is compare our Triple H Decade of Domination to Goldberg because he hit him in the skull with the sledgehammer there and knocked him unconscious. So there's your comparison to Goldberg. If you guys wanted to see that, there you go. But that pretty much does it for our Triple H Decade of Domination Elite figure review. I cannot wait for the rest of the Decade of Domination figures. I know Randy Orton was shipping out to people randomly. I saw some other figures get sold out there, but I pre-ordered him and still haven't seen a John brown thing. Overall, I really enjoyed the Triple H. I like this moment, but I'm also a really big Triple H fan, guys. So if you guys are a big Triple H fan, I definitely think this is worth a pickup. Again, it should be hitting very, very soon. I don't know about pre-orders. If you guys pre-ordered this figure, I don't know because Walmart.com and Target both suck with pre-orders, man. Every time I pre-order something, I never get it. The stores always get it before I get mine. I pre-ordered that Eddie Guerrero as soon as it went up. I ordered two of them. Have not seen them to this 
this day. And they're hitting all over the country. How pre-orders work, Brad, is you're supposed to have your pre-orders and then you fulfill the pre-orders before you ship them to the store. That's how it's supposed to work, Brad. What if you pre-ordered something from Ringside Collectibles and then two months goes by and then you, you go to Walmart and you find the figure that you pre-ordered from Ringside at Walmart? Wouldn't you be pretty ticked off? Yeah. But anyways, before we get out of here, guys, leave me a comment down below for a potential shout-out in a future video. A huge shout-out to Gamerman Bob for this comment on our previous video of our figure news. The Rock is when SmackDown appeared on the premiere for Fox. So, yes, I, I totally forgot about that. I don't know how that skipped my mind, but the brand-new Elite 81 Rock figure is based on his uh, his performance or his, his you know, he, he was there for the premiere of SmackDown Live on Fox on that Friday night. Completely with my mind. Like, yeah, I now, for, it's like no shit, Brad. Really obvious, isn't it? But I totally let that slip my mind. So a huge shout out to Gamerman Bob for that comment. So leave me a comment down below for a potential shout out in a future video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, I'm not sure if these are going to be available at Ringside Collectibles, but if they are, use promo code MDTOYS if you're going to shop over there. But thank you guys for watching. Check out the Legend Series 8 review that also went up this morning, so you guys do not miss out on that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.